Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Morning, kid. Groggy Cappy here, but slowly waking up as the caffeine hits the bloodstream. They're telling me, oh, you know, cat, I got high uh, cholesterol. And then you would go online and say, what causes high cholesterol? Everything, apparently, including coffee. And after a while, you know what? You baby boomers lied to us before you lied to us again. I'm drinking my freaking coffee. Hey, asshole, here's a video request for you. What is your opinion uh, on Matt Tran from Engineer Truth and Seth Himes from InDemandCareer.com? I did a clear test, and they both scored between 0.5 and 1, <clears throat> depending on how much you count their worthless degrees against them. To me, they're a lot like you in that they see college for the outdated scam that it is and give realistic advice. Yeah, they absolutely do. Tran is kicking ass, man, with his channel, Engineered Truth. I, I, I like how he interviews. Uh, he brings in actual people uh, as opposed to the fake people. He brings in uh, real-world professionals in the different, uh, you know, what is it like to be a chemist? What he's got one recently? What is it like to be a Marine? And uh, brilliant on his part. Um, but yeah, then Seth, Seth has employed several of my clients. I say, hey, I'm trying to look for this. I don't know if I want to go to college and I don't know if I'm ready or, or I, I'm physically, medically can't apply for the military. I said, well, try Seth Himes and almost a hundred percent, if not a hundred percent, no one's ever complained. They said, dude, I started making money right off the bat. I was like, good man, good. Nothing wrong with the, nothing wrong with making money. Um... To me, it's a, 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 a yeah. They do give realistic advice. My second, uh, so I don't know if you're asking a question about them, uh, but yeah, absolutely, 100%. They're doing the Lord's work out there in their own way. Seth providing direct employment, uh, and then Matt, he he's got a much larger reach than me, uh, but Matt doing some really good, uh, really good. Uh, well, I hate to say raise. Ah, oh, we're not gonna say he raises awareness. He warns people. He is the Paul Revere of the internet. The worthless degrees are coming. The worthless degrees are coming. Uh, my second question is, with the rise of people like you, Matt, Dan, Loke, and Seth, do you think that in the near future we will see the colleges and leftist establishments start to consciously fight back through something like propaganda or smear campaign, campaigns against people like Matt or Seth? Name your price. I don't think... <clears throat> I don't think they're going to do that. Um, because keep in mind, leftist... Really, we're going to do this now. We're going to do this now. We're going to jackhammer my fucking... <sighs> no, I don't think so. Um, not consciously. Uh, they would need... Where, where they would fight back would be where government policy was like, hey, you know what? We're cutting funding. Uh, we're not going to fund the liberal arts anymore, like they did in Japan. That, something, a bigger threat like that, then they'd mobilize very quickly because uh, then their their livelihood would be threatened and then they might, they're facing the prospects of having to get a real job. But uh, big as uh, uh, Matt Tran's channel might be, successful as Seth Himes might be, uh, reaching out and accurate as my, my books and I might be, we do not pose a significant threat. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been on this uh, worthless degree warpath for, gosh, coming up on eight, maybe certainly on my blog for 10 years. The book has been out for seven or eight. Our kids stop and go into worth now. They sign up by the millions. Uh, and what we're fighting against is an inordinate amount of brainwashing that occurs. Indoctrination brain. I'm not making this up. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not Alex Jones in you here. Okay? I'm not. From kindergarten to high school, and I've written about this extensively, um, we have conditioned kids, both parents, teachers, and the media, in uniform cacophony, have just brainwashed kids into thinking that the only thing that's left for them is college. You also throw in the fact that it can't, it's, public school sucks. How private school sucks. School sucks. School sucks. From kindergarten to your senior year, it sucks. It's not only forget political indoctrination and brainwashing. It's somewhat of a brainwashing overall in terms of the environment you attend. 
every day since you're five years old, you're going to wake up, sit on this rectangular piece of cheese with wheels. You're going to go to the, the, to the, where the rest of the inmates are. We're going to play to the lowest common denominator. We're going to babysit you. Uh, and you're going to obey by these rules. You're not going to think independently. Um, it, it's a prison. It's a literal prison with work release, except I guess we could call it home release. Where what do you do? You go home and you do even more homework. Uh, so this prison, like it, it has a prison-like mentality and taxation on a young person's mind. I don't care how well you're brainwashed, you want to get out of prison. So the only thing, the only hope that young kids up to older kids, you know, high schoolers, have is to get out. And then what is the promised land? The land of Canaan. And I always liken it's college. It's, I always liken it to um, the biblical story of the Jews escaping English and they get to the land of Canaan. Where it's this tortured, you're enslaved, da da da. Oh, we're finally free! And then we wander around the Sinai Peninsula a little bit, get a little bit lost. But after 40 years, oh, here's the land of Canaan, the promised land. This is, what, oh, this is what we've been promised. Well, I don't know if you know the history of the Jews or the Bible history very much, but when they get to Canaan, not all goes well after that either. You know, just because you cross this mythical line in the desert doesn't mean like, hey, grapes, bundles of grapes, bunches of grapes, huge girls with boobies. Hey, Solomon, he's got 3,000 concubines. All right. It doesn't. It doesn't bode well just because the Jews made it to Canaan. And it's the same thing with college, is that's all they have. That's all that these kids have, is to look at college as, as like it's not, they escape, they get out of prison, and little do they realize they go from one prison to an essential indentured servitude. And that's really what college is now. Like, okay, yeah, you're free. But sign on this dotted line for this hundred thousand dollars in student loans. Oops, it's not dismissible. I guess now we got you. I guess you gotta you gotta really low. You gotta take whatever you can get out there in the labor market, and uh, work for peanuts for established institutions, be it the government, corporations. Um, they got you and they own you. And so um, there's no way, or oh, there's not no way, if if we ever got the popularity of PewDiePie, if we ever had that um, celebrity-like popularity and pull, then maybe starting tomorrow, starting today, starting next week, we could really turn the tides. But uh, us guys, no matter how big we our YouTube channels are, our internet presence is, we don't have the pull to counter one, the indoctrination kids get from parents, television, media, television, parents, uh, teachers, media and politicians. We don't have that poll. And then two, uh, we cannot come anywhere near as close as creating a suffocating, enslaved, prison-like environment that the public schools can for 13 years to condition kids to just want to get the hell out. Uh, that, that right there is, and not neither would we. Uh, all, I'm, all I'm saying is look at these two main forces we're going up against and that is the prison-like conditions that kids have for 13 years that they just want to get the hell out. They don't care. Uh, and then where your parents and teachers and guidance counselors and all that channel you into going to college, we're not going to... I mean, they spend, what was it, half a trillion a year, is it now? I think it's just shy of half a trillion. I have to look up the figures. But <clears throat> we basically spend a trillion a year on education. Half goes to higher ed, half goes to lower ed. Higher ed being college and lower ed, K through 12. We don't have those budgets. And let's be honest, uh, kids aren't exactly that bright. No matter how independent-minded thinking they are, no matter how many times they pro uh, protest, your average high schooler is not, I shouldn't say bright, but they're not that independent-minded. They are programmed sheep. And when we come in with a, a, a plan B, or we try to warn them, say, hey, don't go out there. It's a, it's a minefield. You're going to ruin your life. Do you ruin my dreams, man? I mean, look, did you see the millennials graduate? Did you see how open-minded they were to warnings? Hey, look, don't go that way, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fine, go. Get your ass out in that minefield. I don't care. Oh, you stepped on one, did you? Oh, too freaking bad for you. I liked you before, but you told me to fuck off. Well, fuck you. I think Gen Z and Fulci is going to be the same way. So... With the rise, you know, rise, rise at the rate, I, look, I got barely 40,000 subscribers. There's millions of kids, and, and most of my subscribers are old farts, you know, who are trying to warn their kid, the kid. 
that's another thing. You want to talk about, look, you want to become a billionaire overnight. If you could get teenagers to listen to their elders, not their parents, just their elders, you can make billions, billions. Because the biggest problem I have is not, sales of worthless is good, but you know who buys them? It's not, not seniors in high school. Seniors in high school aren't going to Matt Trans Channel or Seth Himes. They're, they're, they're people who are college graduates of God dang, they ain't turn, what the heck, and then they search the internet. They're adults. The people who buy my books are the parents of the kids. And then when they try to give their kids the book, or they show a, a video of Matt Trent, or they introduce their 17-year-old their child to, to Seth Himes, these kids don't listen because they're 17-year-old teenagers. They know better than anybody else in the world. They're the most impervious minds to any sort of wisdom or elderly advice possible. And it's not until they go through hell and they graduate from college and they da 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 you have graduated, yay, celebrate booze, yeah, party. And all of a sudden, crap, then dump down in the real world. Not until the real world is kicking their ass and the big education matrix has taken out all the money they possibly could from these kids. Do they start like, oh wow, I can't, I can't find, what's, what's going on? Oh. My dream isn't coming true. Where's the money? Once these, the graduation party's in college end, and about six months after, and they're still in debt, and those debts are coming due, and they can't find a job, and they get rejected, and they didn't find their, I didn't become a revert, reserve vice assistant diversity director for a nonprofit with my master's in sociology. Then they're desperate enough to listen. That's the wandering around in the desert for 40 years like the Jews did back in the biblical story. They need that. They didn't just go from, oh, got out of Egypt, screw you, Pharaoh. Yeah, see the water? We saw that, you know, Charleston Heston, he did the water back on the Egyptians. He took them all out. Ah, land of Canaan, here we come. Bundles of grapes for us. No, they had to wander. They had to suffer. And so, to continue on with the analogy, it's not until they graduate from college and wander in the desert a little bit are they fully removed from that indoctrination and then suffer the real world a little bit and then, then out of pure desperation, they don't even go for help, they go for an explanation as to why. Why am I not? And then, then they're receptive. But it's, it's tragic, it's tragic because the damage has already been done. They already took on their whatever, I don't know what we're up to, a quarter trillion dollars in debt every year, every year kids take out, um, they, they majored in their worthless degrees, big education, the professors and the academians, the assistant reserve, vice break, classic case of emergency diversity director, they all got their pensions and their money, and these idiot kids signed their lives away on the dotted line with student loan debt. And then it's too late to solve the problem, so I do worthless degree awareness month. So, no, uh, I, I don't think the left has anything to worry about. We are still fringe. Um, it's kind of like, like, what was it? Was it Tom Likas? I think it was Tom Likas. He said, well, what if, what, if, what if all the guys did what you recommend? He's like, even with my large reach, I only reach a couple million people. And that's a fraction of the 300 million people in the United States. You know, It's the same thing here. We're, we're, we're not, my, worthless, by all accounts and measures, worthless should be the number one bestseller. Every year during grad, it should be the niche. Go right to Amazon number one. It should. Uh, but again, my reach is nothing. We don't have to worry about it. There's way too much indoctrination and established infrastructure uh, to, to, to get these kids to channel them, to herd them, literally herd them into college. Uh, it just isn't going, the, the audience that needs it, they're just not receptive. They're not receptive to the message. And so we do save those who can. We do troubleshoot and help them out after college, like Seth and, and um, Matt. Uh, but it's almost, and this is something that uh, you'll learn when you get older, you can't help people that don't want to be helped. Horse and water thing. And most teenagers and most college kids don't want to be helped. They know what they know. Oh, they know it at all. They know it all. And so all you can do is, it's a slow, painful train wreck. It's, it's just like watching them just slowly crash into another plane. And I've learned to not let the carnage get to me. Because they all willingly got on that train and they're even saying, go faster, go faster. It's like, hey, uh, uh, fuck it. Never mind. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think the left is going to come back and get us, which is good for us. I mean, 
not to sound too opportunistic, but you know, if, if everybody woke up tomorrow and stopped majoring in stupid crap, what the heck would me and Matt and Seth do? <laughs> what? Well, we'd have to go back and work real jobs. You know, like if crime went away, what would cops have to do? Crap, crap, cops would be out of a job. So, you know, uh, at least from my perspective, it's kind of like, yeah, I do, I do. In one regard, I do want the education bubble to continue. I want these kids to be lied to because then on the end, we finally, oh, what? and then we, then we do. Now we have your attention. Now here's some wisdom and you're going to pay for it, by the way. So that's it. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're not, the left is not going to come after us. Um, but yeah, no, I like those guys. They are, they are doing the Lord's work. Uh, but no, the left is not going to come after us small potatoes because it's better that they spend the resources just further indoctrinating the kids. That's, that's the best use of their money, and I almost guarantee you they're going to continue to do it that way. So. All right, you guys got questions, Captain's got answers. AssoConsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.